So this is cocoon salt removal, all right, uh, often with rising damp, uh, you have salt uh, damage, all right. Uh, one of the ways to get rid of salt in a substrate which uh, doesn't have any paint on it or render on it uh, is to use a cocoon system. Uh, the cocoon system is a ph pharmaceutical grade paper um, which is obviously wet. Uh, it gets put on the wall at about 10 millimeters thick as you can see um, and the moisture from the paper goes into the substrate uh, dilutes the salt uh, turning the salt back to a liquid again and as the water evaporates from the bricks um, uh, the, the water will evaporate from the surface of the cocoon instead of the surface of the brick so you can see these bricks are quite pitted here compared to these ones are smooth there's a really direct comparison there of the same brick uh, this one has salt damage on the corner of it and the front of it's fine all right, um, so and it's crumbly as well. I don't know if you can even see that, but some of the sand is coming out of that brick. They're very soft bricks. All right, you can see the edge of them is, is not square anymore. That's because of salt damage. Um, so um, the evaporation point is the front of the brick. So you can see the front five to ten millimeters of the brick has salt damage. That's because the evaporation point is at the front, at the surface of the masonry. Right, the water comes up through the wall and then comes to an evaporation point and evaporates from the wall. At the evaporation point, the salt is a solid, right? Um, as salts dry, they crystallize and the salt crystals push apart the bonds of the sand cement. All right, so there's, as you can see there, uh, the, the salt part, the, the, the sand cement particles are there, right? So the salt gets between those particles and pushes them apart, right? Um, and, and that's where you get your damage from. So the cocoon makes the surface of the, the masonry further out. So instead of the water evaporating from the surface of the brick, it's evaporating from the surface of the paper. All right, so that's why we put it on there. The water goes into the substrate and dilutes the salt. And as the water, which is now uh, laden with salt, comes to the surface, the surface is now the paper, right? So as the water evaporates, the salts crystallize in the paper instead of the masonry. All right, and when you take the paper off, so this paper will dry out as the moisture evaporates. Um, and uh, when you take the paper off, the salt comes out and there's no longer any salt in the substrate. It's been removed. Uh, the damage is obviously still in the brick because it's been done by the salt previously. Um, but once the salt is removed, then you don't have any more recurring damage from the salt in there. Okay, so if you have salt in a substrate like this and you wet it, the salt will dilute and go back into the brick. And as the water evaporates again, the salts will crystallize at the surface again and you get a cycle of damage. So it gets wet, dilutes the salts, the salts go back into the brick, the water comes to the surface, the water evaporates, the, brick, the salt crystallizes, damages the brick, it gets wet again, it takes the salt back inside, so you get a cycle of damage, right? So, um, by wetting the wall down and trying to take your salts off by washing it, it's actually worse because you're just speeding up the cycle of the dilution of the salts and the evaporation, the crystallization, dilution, evaporation, crystallization, and it damages the wall faster. All right. Uh, generally, you'll see a lot of damage in the mortar. So that happens to the mortar because generally the mortar is softer than the brick, right? But in this case, the brick is softer than the mortar. So the evaporation point is the brick instead of the mortar because the mortar is more dense. All right, if you've got a dense brick and soft mortar, the mortar will go instead. All right, so um, this is a really perfect example here of the moisture going into the brick. So this is the cocoon, and you can see the water here is going right into the into the substrate of that brick. Okay, and um, it, it, it will be diluting those salts and turning the salts back to a liquid again. So now, as the this this wall will be cocooned as well, which we haven't gotten there yet. Um, so you can see he's working his way down here they'll be covered as well so um, after two weeks of the process occurring um, this paper will dry out and all those salts will be contained in the paper um, we come along we take the paper off and we actually do another process of the cocoon again all right so we do two processes so it's at least a month process to get the, the salt out of the wall it might seem like a long time but it's not really considering that um, it's taken years for the salt to accumulate to the point where it's damaging the building anyway, right? Um, so that's, that's cocoon for you.